I have tried to record this video so many times, but I keep stumbling my words in each take, which is so annoying. But we have another daylight video, and that means that this video should be pretty good, you know? I'm hoping for a good video today. Hello all, again, and today we're not going to be doing a box set video or a tag video. We're going to put those aside just for today because I'm going to do a video that inspired me to make a channel and hopefully will inspire others to start up a record collection. So my video today is tips for starting up a record collection. Now I think this is an important video to make purely because I'm a young person and maybe young people who are trying to get into the record and vinyl community but don't know how, don't know where to start. So that's why I'm here talking to you about what I did, how I started, because I was very young when I started out my record collection, what I did, tips and tricks, etc. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, there'll probably be another box set video coming tomorrow, but today I'm going to tell you how to start up a record collection. So the first thing you want to do when starting out your record collection, when you're, you know, you're thinking about buying your first album, is when you're about to buy your first album, make sure it's an album that you love. Maybe it's your favourite album or close to your favourite album, but something that you know that you're going to get a lot of use out of because you don't want to buy an album that you don't know anything about and you don't want to buy an album that you know one or two songs from because what will happen is you'll buy that album because you love those couple of songs and you'll play them for those songs and then eventually that album will start collecting dust because you don't know the album that well and you won't get a lot of playing out of it. Start with an album you know front to back. Maybe you don't like one or two songs from that album, but you gotta know the majority of the album if you wanna start off your collection strong. You know, you wanna buy something that means something to you because you're gonna play it a lot. And because records are so expensive, you know, you'll be saving up for records and you might only be stuck with a couple of records. So you gotta make sure that they are your favorites and ones that you don't get tired of very easily. For example, mine was a Bring Me The Horizon album. It's long gone from my collection now because I don't listen to them anymore, but it was my first album. It meant something to me then and a small part of me still loves that album. And that brings me to the point of, you know, it's something that's got meaning to you. Something that you know you're gonna listen to a lot. Number two storage. Now I personally store my albums on shelves and in those vinyl boxes that you can get on Amazon or whatever and this is a great place to store them. Shelves are the most ideal place to store albums because they are away from any sort of hazard possible. For example a big hazard that you want to avoid is putting your records near radiators. My radiators are on either side of my room. My records have no access to the heat so Keep them away from heat, otherwise they'll melt. Vinyl records are very fragile, they're very delicate, so you don't want to ruin them. So you want to keep them away from heat, otherwise they will melt. Another point adding to that is stack them vertically. Because if you stack them on top of each other like this, then they're going to warp. They're going to change the whole flow of the album completely and it'll ruin your album you won't be able to play it again and if you end up trying to play it you'll probably damage your turntable in the process so you want to make sure that they are stacked vertically whether that be on a shelf or in a box somewhere away from heat and definitely not stacked horizontally on top of each other number three now this is an optional thing but i would highly recommend this buying plastic vinyl sleeves now let me show you what i mean so these plastic sleeves. You take the album and you just slot it in like that, put it in your shelf and what that does is that can prevent ring wear and it can also just protect the sleeve itself from any creasing or any damage in general so it kind of keeps them preserved. So that's something I do recommend, not at all something you need per se but something that I do recommend. As you can probably see on some really old albums. I'll find an example. So I have this copy of Trick of the Tale, brilliant album, but there's a giant ring around it and some marks along it. So someone clearly did not, and the price sticker is still on the front, someone did not take care of this album cover too well, but something like this copy of Wind and Wuthering which has no marks at all on it and it's an old pressing, this album has been in a sleeve pretty much all its life. If you are that cautious about keeping your vinyl sleeves intact 
and looking as mint as possible, I recommend getting those sleeves. Which leads me to my fourth point about when you're actually buying albums. Now, you don't always have to buy a mint condition album, meaning that you don't always have to, it doesn't always have to be sealed, it doesn't always have to be new, because you can find some very good secondhand records that play fine, they just happen to be older, you know? Because I've got some copies of albums that I've not been able to find as reissues, for example. I have this copy of the first Emerson Lake and Palmer album. From my knowledge this hasn't been reissued but this is a near mint copy and it plays just as well. So if they reissued this album for example I think it would sound just as good as this copy already does. And they end up working out cheaper so you can go to a record store and you don't have to pay 20-30 pounds for an album you can end up paying like 10-15 for a near mint condition album and it will play just as nicely as a mint condition. And my final point is turntables. Now I'm going to watch my words here because I don't want to upset anyone and so this is my record player here. I'll do a little close-up in a minute. So here is my record player and it is a TAC TN300. I've had this as I said since I started my record collection. There is my lovely Rush slip map from my 2112 box set. I've had this record player for five years changing the stylus every so often so that I don't ruin my albums but this is the type of record player that I would recommend. Now, if you are interested in buying a Crosley, I'm not gonna judge you because Crosleys are great for their price and they're a good record player to start with if you are just starting out your record collection. They're a great record player to start with if you are planning to upgrade as your collection grows bigger. Now, if you are like me and you care about audio quality, you can choose to get external speakers and an amp. But if you are not fussed about audio quality and you just want to play your albums on something that's not a CD player or a download, by all means get a Crosley. I think that they personally don't sound as good as mine or as someone else's, but they'll sound good to someone else. So that's something that you've got to take into consideration, which kind of relates back to my first video. That is the end of today's video. Thank you guys for the comments on yesterday's video. I'm feeling a lot better today. I'm hoping to go back into work tomorrow. Thanks for the support. Nearly 250 subscribers in less than a month. That's insane. And I'm so grateful and thankful for all of the support and all the negativity. It's fun to look at negative comments and try and reason with people who might just not understand where you're coming from. Tomorrow's video will probably be another box up video or a vinyl tag video. Um, I thought this video was important for people who are just getting into record collecting and don't know what to do. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know. And a little question. What is your guys' favorite album of all time? Let me know and I will try and respond to each comment. Okay, see you later.